the arid mountain deserts of West Texas hardly look like they're capable of holding any life, but they do. And in Texas, everything is bigger. So far this season, I've kind of lost my mojo. So what better way to rebuild some confidence and overload a cooler than to head down to a target-rich environment? This kind of hunt is not going to be tough, but it is an opportunity to see and experience wild country and new and exotic variety of animals. I'm back. Come up here, boy. Welcome to Mordor. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom. Look at that guy. This right now. I oh, lose another big buck like that to these damn cameras. Patience is definitely a virtue that I have. We're lazy enough. This thing's a tank. It's a bad day right there. I've hunted in this part of Texas before. I first came down a few years ago with my brother Boyd and struggled to find a couple of javelina and some Audad ewes. I later went back on my own and scored on a beast of an odd ad ram. Look at that. I would have shot any ram, but I got a stinking bomber ram. I'm now back for a third time, and with no real time constraints, I'm looking for another big sheep, possibly a javelina, and whatever other critters might unluckily cross my path. I'm down here with one of my best friends, Riley Warwood, and his oldest daughter, Hallie. I'm gonna stop recording. This hunt is exactly what I need right now. Relax in amazing accommodations, eat like a slob, and spend time with two of my favorite people in the world. And with a little bit of luck, find myself another big sheep to take home. is just as good as the last day. I agree. <laughs> Wait, the sun is coming. We're gonna work around the bottom. Get out of their sight. And go up the bottom of the draw. Looks like they're kind of feeding down the hillside. So we just parallel one of them right now on the bottom. We'll work up to this next ridge. And we should be able to see up that draw. And then if they feed around, they'll be right above us. But if they don't, they gone over, then we'll just skirt up this top and peek over the other side. Back in the 
the shadows. Well, the gig's up now. sheep up there don't give a damn that we're here. No, they're like right there. But the ram we want does kill. He's a good ram. Both of those are good. Real nice ram. So the gig was up. We think that the wind swirled, probably a combination of both. They saw our glare and then some sheep come a couple hundred yards right here above us and looking down on us. So it didn't help that we have a big spot and scope, big camera, big rifle, and three of us sitting out here in the sunshine. And a big fat ugly guy sitting up there. Yeah, big fat ugly guy sitting up there. Everybody picks on the back. <laughs> Now we can go through. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda nice having a go guy. That's what they call that? Yeah, you're a go guy. <laughs> Do this. I think we've found a couple rams to go look at. There's a lot of eyeballs in that herd, though. Yes. <laughs> So we're just watching this group of sheep. Looks like there's a couple pretty good rams, so just kind of really taking a look. See if we can figure out which direction they're gonna feed to or if they're gonna kind of stay there a little bit and then make a plan to work up around them, come in and maybe get a shot at them. But it's cool, like most of these sheep that we're seeing are in huge herds and so it's kind of hard to pick out and they're constantly moving. They're like little ants always moving around. Hey Tim, got any interest in an orb? Where? Right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a couple of them. I can shoot him? Yeah. We don't see a lot of them, but, but there's a few roaming around. You should shoot it. You want me to shoot it? Yeah. Why? They're awesome. Would I be a stud if I shot? Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll have to close some distance. Yeah, they're down there a ways. Those things have long horns. Yeah, that one's a good one. That's a cool animal. I think maybe we ought to go down and... I mean, these sheep aren't going anywhere. and There's plenty of sheep around. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt anything to go take a look. Get up there, get him in the scope, and then make the decision, I guess. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Allie's like, you get that thing in the scope, you're probably gonna pull a trigger. We'll see.
ah, don't shoot, don't shoot. I can't get on it. What the hell? It's on it now. You ready? <laughs> oh man. Good job. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure what I've just shot. All I know is it has big horns, a beautiful hide, and from what I've gathered from Riley in the last few minutes leading up to me killing it, the meat is some of the best table fare you'll find on any game animal. Well, I guess tonight, we're gonna find out. I'm pretty dang excited to have such a cool animal. And luckily for us, it's not going to be too bad of a pack out. Well, wasn't really expecting to get one of these, but I'll take it. Pretty excited. Cute. Scimitar orcs. Sweet. Yep. What'd you just do? I shot a javelina. Look at that. Surprised you hit him right in front of the shoulder. You actually though. can shoot a bow. Well, maybe. He's bleeding like crazy. Yeah, it looks like it. You still on the blood trail, Hallie? No, he's bleeding good. Yeah, there. Right there. Yeah, looks it. Thirty yards, you little tusker. You're rolling any time, just so you know. Stinky little bugger. Whew. Took him, took his juggler out. Nice little chompers. <laughs> Pretty decent little, little heavy there. Yeah, good sized one. Nice, nice, sweet. First time I've ever seen Tim actually kill something with a bow. It, Personally, I. It's been a while. It's been a while. He I'm pretty picky, but this, you know, took one look. I could tell it was a Boone and Crockett Havelina. So Absolutely. I knew that I had to do it. Have the chance with the, to take a animal like this with your bow. And I, I didn't want to ruin any meat. I wanted it to bleed out fast, so I went ahead and took it out. Of the um, if you can do that, you just like to aim right at that ring, right around his neck. Clip it right in front of his shoulders. I mean, that's a good, that's a job well done right there, folks. That's a nice little Abby. I'm happy. I'm stoked about that. Good job. Is that what we're having for dinner? No, we're not having this for dinner. We're having steaks for dinner. I, I like agree. It. So far this week, this hunt has been quite a blast. Now that I've had my fun with the Oryx and the Javelina, 
I'm down to my last afternoon before we've got to break camp, clean up, and make the 20 hour drive back home. We've been seeing lots of sheep every day, but now it's down to go time, and I think that I've found an old, heavy looking ram that I'd like to take home. Shoot, fire, and the it's just a second. There's that rock. Smoked him. Nice shot. You dropped him. He's right there, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good sweet. shot. I hope he's as good as I thought he was. I hope so too, because I didn't get a real good look. He didn't? Well. I mean, he's good. I didn't care. Once I saw him, I was like, uh, I don't care. He's, Riley, I... He looked like he was definitely the biggest ram in there. Yeah. A little heavy ram. Oh, well, let's switch this. Uh, that's funny. Uh, GoPro, stop recording. Well, what do you think? I think you just killed a ram. <laughs> I hope he's as good as I think he is. Looks like a heavy ram. Looks like a good, real good ram. There's one thing for certain. He's dead right up there. He's a dead ram. He's, dead. he's a dead ram. <laughs> he's the deadest ram on the mountain. It's big ram. Let's see. He's cool. <laughs> Looks giant right there. That's a cool shot. It's a pretty high end brand. You just need to take sick pictures. Dad, you look like a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. He's a professional photographer. Can't see your face. Well, there I can. Smile. Pick that back. Pick that one up. There you go, right there. Just now you just rolling kind of all the way around. Enough pictures. Get him caped up. Get off the mountain. Got her loaded. Yeah. Ow! Son of a... <laughs> that was awesome! That sucked ass. <laughs> Son of a... What'd you do? Oh shit, I sat right in that cactus. Why? Take a picture of you. Damn it. Dude, they're stuck in my ass. <laughs> I really do enjoy solo hunting, and it really is my true passion. But I also realize that there's more to life than just thinking of oneself. Life is about having and sharing experiences. It's doing things for and with family, friends, and your neighbor. Spending time on the mountain with friends like Riley or family like my son and brother has really meant a lot to me, especially in the last few years. I feel like I've aged as a man and grown up to be one too. And as a very wise man once said, you only live mortal once. <laughs>